that's why I always say keep God first and the rest will be added. I say that because I've seen it. I've seen me not keeping God first and, and what happens. And I've seen like what happens when I keep God first. And this is and this is like you got to put God in, in, in a position to the point where nothing takes that place. Nothing, nobody at all. Like my wife can't take God's place. Nah, 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 nah. You trip. You wild. Well, babe, do it. Well, well uh, it, it, I have to think to myself as a husband, because as a husband, we're trained to serve. Okay, you take it back. Uh, good husbands <laughs> are trained to serve. We're trained to go get. We're trained to go fix. But where we get it twisted is when we go rescue the damsel that is in distress. When God is like, I want you over here fixing it. I I, I got her. I made her. She'll be yeah. fine. Trust. I created her. <laughs> I pulled her from you. Don't you think I can put her? I can do what I need to do for her. But a lot of times the order is off. If God is not first, your life will be so confused. I can speak from this mountain from, like I said, both both parts. Having God in place and not having God in place. It's not like it's a cliche. Like this is this is this is the order. And watch what happened. Watch how your life happened. Like watch how your life changed. When you actually absolutely say, listen, nobody would take God's place. And then find out what happened if you said it's going to be God. And then my wife, I guarantee you, my kids will never come before my wife. <laughs>